industrial tourism is a concept that is growing pretty rapidly throughout the tourism industry. But what is it? What is industrial tourism? Why is it popular? What does it mean? I'm going to teach you all about it in today's video. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Hayley Sainton and I teach you all things travel and tourism. So let's get right down to the crux of it. What is industrial tourism? Industrial tourism is the concept of visiting places linked to industries that are most common in a particular place. It commonly involves visits to operational companies and industrial heritage. It provides an experience with regards to specific products. It allows visitors to learn about and experience the production process. And it teaches tourists about the history and background of that particular industry. Whilst it might come as a surprise, Industrial tourism is not actually a new type of tourism. In actual fact, it happens around the globe, where different industries have existed for centuries. People might visit traditional sites or more modern places. The most common industries that people like to visit the sites of include branded luxury goods, food and drink, symbols of particular regions, such as bananas in Guatemala, and handcrafted goods. According to Fru, Industrial tourism occurs when a tourist visits an operational site or sites where the core activity of the site is non-tourism oriented. In other words, it's when tourists visit a site that is associated with an industry other than tourism. Many people believe that this is limited to the manufacturing industry, but in actual fact, industrial tourism relates to any organisation or business that opens their doors to tourists. Industrial tourism is a great example of educational tourism because it often revolves around learning about a particular industry or a specific organisation. Okay, so you understand that industrial tourism is about specific industries, but let's look at some examples so we can really understand what this looks like in practice. If you are an industrial tourist, you might want to watch people at work, go on a factory tour, Go on a tour of a mine, take a farm tour, or a wine tour. There are parliament tours and tours of specific company premises, for example, Ford or BMW. And then there are factory visits by business tourists too. So it might seem to some people a little bit strange that you might want to tour a factory as part of your holiday, but lots of people do. So why? One reason is that people in general are stepping away from traditional vacation travel. We're less likely to want to spend time lazing by the pool or tanning on a beach. And nowadays, we're more likely to want to get to know a destination a little deeper. This comes as information becomes more accessible too. When we see photos, read blogs, watch documentaries about industries in certain cities or countries, we're more likely to want to see it for ourselves. It also becomes more popular as tourist boards and individual companies push it. For some countries who have an industry or a type of product which is specific to them, they may be inclined to present this as a tourist activity or opportunity. By doing so, they provide a boost to their economy. This is especially true of industries that are no longer as necessary or as popular as they might have been. With technology taking over the creation of many products, traditional industry techniques all by the wayside. In order to capitalise on income that the area may have lost by not getting as much business, places can invite tourists to see how things work instead. This is commonly seen in the agritourism industry, where farms are being used for tourism purposes as well as for traditional farming. Another reason that industrial tourism is growing in popularity is that people are always looking for something new. As humans, new experiences are vital to us. Many tourists have done churches and walking tours and museums. Now they want to see something else. Industrial tourism provides a brilliant way to do this. So as I like to do in all of my videos, I'm just going to quickly outline to you what are the benefits and the limitations of industrial tourism. One of the main benefits is education. Industrial tourism can be fantastic for students, or for people who just generally want to learn more about a particular industry. From taking a tour of a gold mine during a Canada road trip, to visiting a tea plantation when you visit Sri Lanka, there are plenty of exciting and fun 
educational opportunities. Another key benefit, as always, is money. Industrial tourism can help to boost an economy and bring in money. Money can be made through entrance tickets, selling souvenirs and more. Plus, the tourists may spend more money in the area too on things such as hotels and food. This can then be reinvested into the economy. But as always, it's not perfect. Here's why. Sometimes there might be sensitive issues, such as poor human rights records that can be difficult to address. This could make tourists feel uneasy and could upset the locals too. There's also the risk that industries may see more opportunity to make money from tourism than in their traditional lines of work. This can cause businesses to pivot away from their traditional methods of earning money and move towards tourism. Whilst this can be a good move, over-dependency on tourism is never a good thing because you never know when the next pandemic or natural disaster could hit. And you might actually be surprised to learn how many times you have actually been an industrial tourist. I know I certainly was. So here are some examples of some of the biggest industrial tourism attractions that are found around the world. The Umbrella Factory in Chiang Mai. Located in Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand, the Umbrella Factory is where you can see paper umbrellas as well as handmade paper being made. You'll see every step of the process it takes to create this paper umbrella. Firstly, making handmade paper from mulberries. The result is a purple hued rough piece of paper beautifully textured and used to make paper umbrellas, greeting cards, handmade gift wrap and gift bags, photo albums, bookmarks and much more. There's a gift shop here too where you can buy these products and they are around 50% cheaper than you'll find at the Thai markets. It's not often that we get to see paper being made from scratch, which is why the Umbrella Factory is such a fantastic example of industrial tourism. The tea plantations in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is the perfect place to visit tea plantations. There are locations right across the country and these popular tours are a great way to see more of Sri Lanka while enjoying the weather as well as the breathtaking scenery. Sabaragamua is home to the largest tea plantation of Sri Lanka and you'll get to see the tea picking and making process from start to finish. Always be sure to look for tours which visit plantations focused on workers' rights as tea pickers are some of the most disadvantaged citizens in Sri Lanka. The Britannia Mine in Canada Located in British Columbia, the Britannia Mine is a must-see if you're looking for industrial tourism in Canada. The museum is a non-profit organisation which has preserved artefacts and information related to British Columbia's mining history. There are 23 buildings here, housing over 7,000 artefacts, almost 10,000 photographs and around 3,000 documents. When you visit, you get to take a train ride through the historic haulage tunnel and see how historic mining and lighting equipment worked. Mining has always been an incredibly important activity and this is a fascinating glimpse into the history of this. The Airbus factory in France. Airbus have their headquarters in Toulouse, France, and you can visit the factory here. Discover the history of aviation, see how planes are made, watch test flights, and so much more. This is a brilliant example of exciting and hands-on industrial tourism, especially as so many tourists travel by plane every single day. The Batan power plant in the Philippines. This is a nuclear power plant completed under the Margos regime, but never actually used. You can go on a one and a half hour tour, which is brilliant for understanding nuclear power. You'll see the turbine hall, some electrical gear, the control room, and also the reactor room. It's a great chance to get up close to a nuclear reactor in a safe way, given that no nuclear fission ever took place here. It's been open to tourists since around 2011, although since 2019, the Department of National Defense and the Philippine Nuclear Research Institute have been lobbying the government to reopen it for its intended purpose. The BMW plant in Munich, Germany. As I said before, people love to visit industrial sites which make or have made luxury goods. BMWs are by many seen as luxury cars and so lots of people like to visit the BMW plant in Munich. It's a museum and it's open for guided tours. You can explore the BMW Welt and the BMW Museum located around a 15 minute walk from each other. 
tour the plants and see how gorgeous cars are made and visit the Future Forum to get a glimpse into the future of car manufacturing. The automobile industry is huge and the BMW Group have a massive hand in it. If cars are your thing, then this is industrial tourism at its best. So I am really interested to know how many industrial tourism sites have you been to? Let me know in the comments. I was shocked that I'd been to about half of those I just listed and I definitely want to go to the other half now. They're fascinating. Let me know where you've been in the comments. Give me some travel inspiration. And if you've enjoyed this video, watch these next.